And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Get it! Check! Panther! Hey, check that! Check that! Street! Street! They start to drive with White, and a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. But you look at this Bronco defense, and they're going to be tough to throw on, no doubt. Currently ranked third in the NFL against the pass. And I've struggled a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this crew ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Big and they'll send the tight end in motion left. The first carry now for Tony Pollard, and he'll get a couple up to the 29. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! Go. Back to throw here. Oh, it's first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Williams is into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now after the touchdown, ready to boot it away, Riley Dixon. And no return here for White. It'll be a touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Hey, and the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I notice his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The Buccaneers have one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind is certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. Back to throw now on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second down and a yard. Mustang 19. Cup 19. Cup 19. They'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. 
They go right back to White here on first down. Had a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Ready. They run straight ahead here with Pollard, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. But you look at this Bronco defense, we know they're going to be tough to throw on top three in the NFL defending the pass. Definitely going to need to be physical with these receivers, whether that's right at the line of scrimmage trying to jam them and bump them off their routes, or when the ball arrives and you go ahead and put your shoulder into them and try and knock it loose. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. That is caught. This one down to about the 20-yard line. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they come up now, second and goal. They run straight ahead here with White. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. yard from the end zone, hey, third and goal. Viking 18, half the street, half the street. Ready, ready. Pollard, and he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the... And all will be intercepted. And the Broncos are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. Ready? 
The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up the score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. There are so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. Seven yards there and a first down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. A play fake, now Cunningham. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And not much running room. Down to the 32. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and nine. Cunningham looking to throw. He completes this to Sutton. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 18. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust Let's between go. quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Hey, hey. Roll, roll, roll. They give it to Williams, running right. And he'll get this down only to the 18. They work now on second and nine. Off play action, it's Cunningham. And he takes a shot on the release. Says this will be incomplete. Honey got him before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. First two drives, they have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And no return here for White. It'll be a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. Ready, set. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Let's go. 
On play action, they'll throw. He'll buy some time right. And this one too low. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Ready. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll run left with Pollard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. You pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. Only able to gain a couple there. And now we've got a third down and three. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. Let go. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the box first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He completes it to Evans. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And his offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good, and that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. A first and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass and teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game but they come back and make them later on they miss tackles right they miss making plays but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback and when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier they feel great about that guy and likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. Now here's a quick throw out to Mims. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. And quickly, they get to the line. The final shot before break, Cunningham. And his throw here is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock 
for the third quarter. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They start the second half here with Williams. Power gets through, and now an opening. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Second down at six now from the 42. He's going to use his legs here. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and take it down behind the line. Cunningham. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Cunningham to throw. He'll air this one out for Mims. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the ball went way out there, but it'll be third down. The crossing team is he overthrew his man, but got to give him credit. He also got his interception with that type of a throw. Because of that, they saw the chance to put some points on the board. Ready? Here's Cunningham. that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swap that one away. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to get this inside the 30. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Dancing to his left. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. To throw on second down, Cunningham. Oh, and that is incomplete. Tremendous full position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. They went for the big play, just unable to complete it. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Cunningham. Judy complete, and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal.
They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Broncos take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Sly on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. Now after the touchdown, ready to boot it away, Riley Dixon. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because they don't get some kind of points here. That next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Check, hurt, hurt. Go, Reed, go. A give to Pollard running left. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. Ready. They'll set up a throw. Open man is got one. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. This is caught by it. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Broncos. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. here before the snap looked like one of the Bucks may have moved Ready. a full start backs him up five first and 15 70 Timberwolves. here's a play fake as they set up to throw that's going to be caught and in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Mike Evans, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Buccaneers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better turn, a perfect drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. 
Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and seven now from the 28. Operating from the gun, Cunningham. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. shy of the 45 at the 46. 43 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And this defense not ready for that one as they'll take this down inside the 25. Ten more there and another first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. A little second effort there on the strong run and then drop just inside of the 20. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. That keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for them, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two, but he doesn't come anywhere close. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. The Bucs offense set get to begin their there, next possession. Back. A big opportunity to tie it with three or hey, take the that, lead with a touchdown. Three. Their defense definitely did their part with that pivotal fourth down stop. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Okay, ready. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Buffalo 18. Ready, ready. Back to throw here. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
on third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. Big line. Ready. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's complete to Pollard. And they get him down, but now before he takes it across the 40 yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Dragon 60! Go! They'll look to throw now on first down. He finds his target. It's Evans. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Back to throw. And he is caught. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 37. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Hey, smash, Here's Bronco. first and ten now. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He's back to throw. He throws there incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Well, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Here now, third down. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. field ready to start their next drive and this game not quite in hand yet we'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are and taken down just shy of the 40. give credit to the defense for stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle you know he's trying to dart through no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three-yard gain He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. 
Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Yeah, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They play turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game because even doing it that way, being that clean partner, they weren't able to really run away with this game. So that tells us just how important it was to make sure you played mistake-free football that led to the victory. So for Denver, they get back in the win column as they move to two and one now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, they'll fall to one and two. And they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to Atlanta for a matchup with the 